Hi guys. Today you join us, we're out for a walk with the dog and we're gonna try out this out-in portable espresso machine, but it has got a difference to this Wakako unit. So stay tuned and you'll find out why. So I'm sure you're all wondering, why is he messing about with coffee again? Surely he must have found the ultimate solution now. Well, I have to say, I do love my Bellman, uh, and it's great for milky coffees, because obviously you can steam with it as well. But that said, we're out for a walk with the dog, which means that actually an espresso will be fine. Don't need any of the milk. So what options have we got? Well, you've probably seen on the channel before we talked about the Conquaco, um, which is all fine. No, nothing really wrong with that. We started off with a, um, Wakako Nanopresso with the NS adapter. So this has got uh, a Nespresso capsule adapter built into it, uh, which is, you know, nice and small. You have to manually pump it, all that kind of stuff. Um, what we've got here, what we've got here <laughs> is uh, the out-in though, and that's what this video is about. So the out-in uh, is slightly different and uh, it's really quite innovative. So it's got USB-C charging on the back. Uh, it's got uh, a little area in the top there uh, that you put your water in. You can use hot water, you can use cold water because this will heat the water for you and draw the espresso out. Cup on the bottom where it comes out. And uh, this has got a Nespresso adapter with it, a standard, but it also has a ground coffee uh, one of these too, so a little, it's kind of like a porter filter really, uh, which you can put ground coffee in. So if you like fresh coffee rather than espresso ones, which, you know, obviously they can sit on the shelf for months at a time. If you've got beans and you want to grind them and then use them in this, you can do because it comes with all of that stuff just out the box. Today though, because we're on a walk, we're going to use the Nespresso capsule. So I've brought some with me and what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at using these. And just to kind of demonstrate the difference, I've brought with me one flask of hot water. So I boiled some water before we went home, or when we were at home, brought it with me. So we've got red flask for hot water, kind of seashore blue kind of colour for uh, cold water and we're gonna give them a go. So I've got to obviously use the hot water in the Nanopresso um, to, make the, uh, to make the espresso there, but I'm gonna use cold water in the outing. And that just means that if you're out on a walk and you want an, want an espresso, actually the outing might be the lighter option overall because you're not gonna to have to think about how am I gonna get hot water to be able to make my espresso? Because let's be honest, carrying around a, a thing of hot water around uh, if you want a hot drink and then carrying a thing around of cold water but if you've got to give something to the dog or you want a drink of water while you're out on a walk that's a bit of a pain you know these aren't light containers so that's not great uh, but actually having an espresso machine that you can heat with it's a winner right so let's grab some Nespresso capsules let's get them set up and then let's see what they're like at extracting the coffee Right, so let's have a go with the out-in first. And the reason I'm gonna do the out-in first is because I want it to heat the water, which means it'll sit there doing that while we have a go with the Wakako. So, uh, obviously a cup on the bottom. All you do to put the espresso capsule in is take off the bottom, and then you've got these two parts here. So you get your Nespresso capsule. Um, these are Starbucks blonde roast if anyone's interested. So I've just pushed it into that one there, push that into there, and then all you do is you grab your grab your out in and then you screw that onto the bottom like that. And then in the top here, you can probably see there's some marks in the top there. It says 50 and 70, etc. They recommend using 50 ml of water in this. Uh, to do one. So I've got my cold water here, which we're going to use. Uh, so let's just fill that up with 50 ml. So we've got that just there. And they say if you put the lid back on, it boils a bit quicker. So we'll do that. And then obviously you've got to put your cap back on the bottom because what happens is once it's boiled, 
uh, and got the temperature just right for the coffee, it'll extract it straight away for you, all automatic. So you press and hold the button for two seconds and then that starts this thing heating up. So, there we go. Right, so let's just leave that. We'll have a go with the Nanopresso in the meantime. So with this one, um, you've got, obviously, you undo that from the bottom, then it's similar principle, so you open that, push your Nespresso capsule in. And the thing which I've always found with this, because you're obviously putting those in there, just the same, and then you have to screw it in here, sometimes that twists and rips the, uh, rips the top off the uh, Nespresso capsule, but we'll see what happens today. Right, that's all nice and firm. So with this one, uh, what you do is you have to fill this lid here. It does have a cup as well. Let me just pull it off. Um, so what you have to do is you have to fill this with water up to the line in here. So that's hot water, unless you want cold espresso. So this is boiling hot water in here. There we go. Pop that out of the way. And then you have to pop that on there. And then all I did then was, that, that's usually in like that. You just undo that, that comes out. And then you have to pump away. So you can probably see, hopefully you can see, there is some lovely hot espresso coming out. So, you have to keep going with this till the water's run out. And it's coming, it's coming, right, we're nearly there. Nearly there. There we go, that's all done. So, that's it basically. Then you have to wash all those bits and pieces up, pop that out of the way. And then we've got one hot espresso. Now obviously that's beaten the other machine, the out-in, which I kind of thought it would because the out-in is having to boil the water. So, you know, let's, uh, let's give it a, a fair chance. It's got little LEDs on the front here which tells you how far through a heat in the water it is. And it's currently on three out of four. So it's not gonna be long and then that'll be ready. Right, let's see what this is like. Tastes good. I wouldn't have said that that's hot, like that hot. It'd be interesting to see how the outing does. And obviously we've gone on a walk, so we've had that flask trying to uh, keep the hot water hot for this. So let's see, uh, let's see what the outing's like then. So you probably heard that beep. Sarah's been running a timer in the background as well. What's the time? Three minutes 15 it's taken to do that. So, there you go. And I can see here that espresso is starting to come out, which is all good. Right, I think we're done. So, open this up. Interestingly, that will stand up on the bottom, which the other one doesn't, so that's quite handy as well. Right, let's see how hot this espresso is then. Mm. That's hotter, that's definitely hotter. So rather than bringing the flask of hot water that I brought with me, uh, which is either a Yeti problem, because the flask isn't that actually that good as a flask, but I don't think that's the case. Um, this is hotter, I, and I'd kind of expect that because it's obviously uh, boiled it just straight there. Um, but taste-wise, obviously I've got both here now. Let's just uh, let's just see. I'd probably say for anyone who's interested in coffee, I'd probably say the outing's a little bit brighter. I'd probably say the yeah the Wakako hasn't quite got the same um, kind of. Uh, sparkle in the coffee if you like. It's difficult to explain really and Sarah doesn't drink espresso so I can't give it to her to try either but um, but yeah um, obviously both perfectly capable uh, of making espresso on the move. Uh, obviously the big difference is if you want it so that it can heat the water 
that's your unit. Um, size wise, you can see obviously they are similar, although obviously with the cup on the bottom of the out in, that does make quite a difference. But there you go. Hopefully that's been helpful for you. Just having a quick look. Um, I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you. So if you want to watch that, that's great. I'm going to pop that in just after I finish speaking in a minute. And um, if you don't, then thanks very much for watching. Right, let's have a look at this out in Nano then. So really nice packaging. Have an out in day, it says. Very nice. Just open this up, just show you here, look. It tells you the different ratios for different coffees, which is uh, pretty cool. I quite like that. Uh, and then in here, we've got a nice little transparent sheet. We're just being thoughtful, it says. Yeah, yeah. So what else have we got in here then? How to use it. So there's a bit of a quick start guide there saying thank you for buying it. That's a full on user guide here. Look, yeah, very nice. Really good quality packaging, I have to say. Let's get that out of the way. And then, right, we're at the business end now. So what have we got in here? We have got the unit itself. So that is the out in Nano. Uh, so water goes in there, I think. And then I think in here, that looks very suspiciously like, yep, that's where you put your Nespresso capsule. So that's obviously set up for Nespresso at the moment rather than uh, ground coffee. But let's just see if we can take this sleeve off right. So that is the unit itself. I tell you what, it feels really nice in the hand. Uh, on the back here, USB-C, which is really good uh, nice that it's uh, good and modern uh, you also get a little cup included with it just pushes on the bottom very nice and then also in the box here you get this is what I'm really interested in you get here a separate little I suppose it's a porter filter um, and that is where you can put your ground coffee in. So fill it up in there, pop this lid back on, and it's like a massive Nespresso. Um, so you can just put that in, in the machine instead, and hopefully that's gonna give us even better coffee than an Nespresso. And that's your little uh, measuring tool when you're filling that up. Uh, what else do you get? Little uh, USB to USB, or it's a USB-C to USB-C cable just to charge it up. So there you are then, that's our video on the Outin Nano, comparing it to the Wakako Nanopresso. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you would prefer, what's gonna suit you for the kind of traveling that you do in either in the van or going for dog walks and things. Uh, the Outin Nano comes in five different colors. Uh, it comes in a crimson, uh, a white, a black, sorry, well, a gray, um, a forest green, which is what we've used on this video, and also a teal. Uh, teal looks especially good. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon. Uh, they're $139.99. Uh, check the uh, description below for discount codes because uh, we're trying to sort one out for you, which hopefully should give you a little bit of money off if you do fancy one. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Um, if you like it, then please give us a thumbs up on the video. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. That really helps us out. And we'll see you again soon for some more Camper Van Time.